Uh, we want to share with you what we are doing at Alemere Medical Aid Community Health Center. Uh, we had started the construction of uh, the maternity unit, uh, and the funding had been provided by the family of Mazzori Maxima, who gave as a legacy donation for us to construct this maternity unit. The maternity unit is now nearly completed. Painting is already nearly done. The outside painting, if you look at it, is all now uh, painted, you know, nicely. Inside, by this week, I, I did talk to the world, to the painter, and he said that they will finish the inside painting by this week. So I want to take you through inside the maternity unit. The first room that we are going to enter is a delivery room. This is a room where mothers will come, and when they are now expecting labor, they are in labor, they will come in this room, and... Uh, the, the midwives and the doctors will support them to have a safe, a safe delivery. This is where uh, delivery will take place. And next, uh, that is, we have a side room, and this room here will be used in case uh, they need to monitor, uh, you know, any of the expecting mothers or those who have delivered, and they need to put them in a side room for before they are released to the postnatal ward. They will, uh, they will be put in this room. Now. Uh, in the delivery room, there are equipments that are, are very necessary, and uh, I want to thank exp I want to thank the family of of Shelish Marital Shah uh, of Chestnut, which is in Enfield in the in, in the UK. They gave a legacy donation uh, to be used to buy very vital essence, uh, very vital equipments. They gave the money for us to use to buy the delivery beds, uh, suction machines, uh, baby weighing scales, and also the money they gave also will be used to buy a microscope, which will be used in the laboratory services to, to test, you know, you know, any sort of uh, uh, things that requires, uh, you know, investigation uh, using microscope. So it will be done. So we want to thank uh, so much the family of Salish, Salish and uh, Marital Shah for having made this donation. And also, as we leave to go to the next big room, and this room here is the postnatal ward. The postnatal ward will take up to 20 beds. This is a room where uh, mothers who have delivered with their children will be will come and spend some you know some few days before they are discharged to go home. Uh, this is where the mothers will be with you know with their you know, with their children. And uh, I want to thank uh, the family of uh, uh, Mr. Ramnik Shah, who gave all the money, he donated money for us to buy 20 beds, 20 mattresses, and 20 bed sheets, which will be put in this ward, and it will be uh, you know used to you know used by you know used by the mothers and the children. So we want to thank uh, so much the family of Ramnik Shah. For having made this, uh, you know, this donation to buy all these, uh, all these equipments, and also now as we leave to go, we are going to go through this corridor, and this will take us to the reception area where you know patients, mothers will come, they, they sit here and they assess, and then, and then they will go to the, these other rooms which we are going. Uh, the first ward, the first room here with the window, this is a pharmacy where all the patients will come and get uh, medicine once they have uh, you know been um, given a prescription for them to get the medicine they come and get it from the from the pharmacy and the two rooms which is next to on the right which is next to the pharmacy will be rooms that we're going to use for diagnosis uh, assessment so the all the clinical assessment all the diagnosis will take place in these two rooms and there is another two other rooms which is on the right also which will be used for for all these activities so these rooms will have all this sort of equipment that requires uh, diagnosis requires assessment uh, requires if, if persons are brought in emergency that they need uh, you know very very quick assessment there will be all these four rooms here will uh, have all the equipments that that can be used to carry out assessment, diagnosis, and, and all other medical, uh, you know, you know, medical interventions required. And uh, also us now, and also the room here, uh, this is the next room, this room is uh, 
going to be used for administrative uh, work. And uh, in this room, we shall have, uh, you know, the administrator and also accounts, uh, accountant. They will all be using this room to make sure that all, all the funding and all the documentation, everything that is required is done professionally, is done properly, and is, is, and is, is, is accounted for. And uh, once, you know, we have to give the reports to our supporters, to our funders, we are able to give them very accurate, uh, you know, accurate information on how the funding has been used. And outside the building, as you see here, the, you know, this is the back of the maternity unit and also the back of the outpatient building. And uh, I would want to encourage everyone, uh, if you look at the link below, uh, that is a link for you where you can make donation. And you can make a donation in, in several ways. You can make a one-off donation, you can make a monthly donation, you can make an annual donation, and also you can make a legacy donation. A legacy donation is when you make a legacy donation, we will uh, name part of the hospital we are building for, 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 for what you have donated. Let's say we still need money to, to build diagnosis center, we need money to build theater, we need money to build wards, staff quarters, and all this, if anyone make a legacy donation, we will uh, uh, name the, you know, the, the medical unit we have built with the money you have donated as a legacy for what you want us to, you know, to name it. So I want to thank everyone. Please, please, please make a donation. The donation you make will create a big impact, makes us, you know, reach out to provide essential health care to underprivileged children and underprivileged women and underprivileged uh, families. Thank you.